Hi there and welcome to another one tutorial for CAMSYS. Um, this is really uh, for beginners and newcomers and it's all about palettes and how best to use them and why you should be using them. A lot of people when they start off with any lighting console will just start um, setting a light to say there, I want it there with uh, this position and this gobo and hit record and a submaster and that's it done. That's they've recorded that cue. That's okay um, for something extremely simple, but if you're gonna be moving around, if you're doing any repetition, if you think you're gonna be doing any changes, it's it actually produces more work in the long run and can cause you more problems. So we're gonna get rid of that. It's not the right way to go about things. Best practice, and even if it's the most simple show in, in the world, it's, it's the best. The best thing to do is, is do what we're going to say uh, and show you here, which is use palettes. The reason being is once you've used a palette, the the analogy I always give is that your submaster should be like uh, your plate of food that you've you've selected in an all you can eat buffet, and all the palette sections are like the ingredients uh, all laid out. So you'll just start taking the bits and things you want to make the final effect. So it's just as simple as, uh, say a chicken dish changes to beef, it's one thing, it's the chicken, not the entire plate each time for every person. Right, so I'll explain what we've got here. We've got a basic corporate job, a guy at a lectern, some prizes here. You can win a plant, a glass of wine, or a glass of beer, amazing prizes. And uh, the typical uh, mini debate set with some chairs. So this corporate show has uh, a list of eight cues, which obviously could be far more complex and far with far more stages, um, which we're going to go through. So we've got a walk-in, uh, public walk-in section with a nice gobo spinning round, nice and simple. Uh, the CEO of that company is doing his opening comments. Uh, a presentation and debate, back to some comments from the CEO, another presentation debate, a prize giving ceremony, a photo option and uh, the walkout and that's the end of the show. Now that's nice and easy. The main thing I want you to see is there's two things. One, and if this was a real show that I was going to do tomorrow, using a visualizer, whether it be Magic Viz or this Capture Argo, I'm ready to go, um, except for real world things such as a uh, gobo, uh, uh, gobo uh, spin speeds sometimes aren't that great in, in visualizers, uh, gobo focusing, you always have to update uh, actual positions, no matter how good you are with um, CAD software, doesn't always line up perfectly and things move around but those are the only things you need to change so uh, this will show you how to update for real world and it'll also show you how to update for any changes and it'll also sh show the fact that if you see this here this walk-in queue is also the same as queue number eight which is the walkout so as another example queue three which is the presentation and the debate is also the same queue as queue five but i didn't copy and paste I re-recorded each one, but using palettes. And like I say, I spent most of my time on the palettes. So let's say you've got two hours to program. I would aim to spend an hour and a half on palettes and 30 minutes on the submasters. So I kind of divide your time like that. So it's as simple as we take these Mac 2000s and we've got all these positions. So we might have, uh, so I've got the lectern and table position, uh, front wash position, the prizes position and everything in a straight line. Okay, but I've also got the looks, so we've got zoomed out for the wash, I've got the prizes which is a mix of wash and spot, and I've also got the gobo set in there. So that's all fine and dandy, we've done this show once and everything worked. Um, what we're going to do tomorrow in a different location? Well let's open up the second location. So we've moved to another city and there's been some changes. One, the truss is in a different location because it's a different theatre, but it's still a front truss and we've still got the six lights because they're ours. Um, 
or maybe the the first one was from a visualizer and this is real world so it's, it's same theory um, the clients made some changes the client now wants the awards over here the f tables and chairs in the center and his lectern further forward so he's closer to the public and the screen off to the side why because clients so what does that mean for us it, it means that all these cues we've recorded don't line up um, which can be a bit of a pain but it's not an end of the world we don't have to do all these eight cues again from scratch all we have to do is get all the elements and line them up again so we'll select these lights let's select so we'll do the lectern and the table first so we'll call those those uh, those those palettes up so we'll go next head let's let's do position first so we'll go in and select the position and this time we're going to change the order of the lights so the first light was for the the prizes so this time we'll use the first one and the second one for the lectern let's use the third one over at the seating so I'm just doing this very roughly to show the example I'm not going to win any awards here but we're alright there's no cameras filming this we don't have to be perfect and next and we'll go up right so we've got a basic wash and then we're also going to highlight there so now we've done that we can go back and do the beams so that's maybe a little bit large so let's zoom in a little a little bit more previous let's open it up a little and previous close this one a little yeah just so I'm just going through them backwards where it was one to six we're now going six to one but you get the idea okay so we've all of this has been updated now the main thing is that if you see here at the top of the title bar it'll show the head number selected so we're now one two three four five six and we're back through to one if we do it now see there we'll and record these again the palettes again we will only record palette number three so what we have to do is select all by pressing all here and we've got one through six selected so updating palettes isn't like a, a queue or a submaster where we include in an update we just re-record so it's just record we'll do the position and record and the beam let's clear that and we'll go through the show to see and you'll see what we've done so the walk-in gobo isn't right the the opening comments isn't right but if you see now the debates and presentations are right so we just have to do the same thing again for the rest of the positions so we'll select those we'll, let's do the front wash so nice and easy front wash uh, positions Whoop. so that's the first one and second one we Number four. So this takes a moment and it's quite boring. Just hear me do this, but I'll just do it as quick as I can to give a rough wash. As I said, I'm not looking to get any awards for lighting this stage. And what I'm going to do is go back and take light number three, which is roughly centered, and light up the staircase. There's nothing worse than a client needing paperwork filled out for why they fell over in the dark. Right, so again, record the position. Now, I didn't change any beams because I'm happy with that. And we'll just check that gobo. Let's say, for an example, the, gobo, the client wants this gobo. Well, that's as simple as we've changed the gobo. Again, record that. And that's it done. And we'll now go back and do the prizes. So we've got those positions. Now remember that uh, these are done because these three lights are correct. Specifically these two are correct. Because if you see here there's an L, it's linked, meaning uh, it's the P is positioned and L is linked. It's linked from this palette which we recorded because I originally did this saying well the lectern's going to be the same. 
So I selected those and then created the prizes positions. Now, the, so the reason, so that again, where you see it's a link, it comes from somewhere else. So I'm saving even more work. I'm not having to repeat uh, the lectern positions. I will have to change heads three through six, but that's nice and easy. So we'll start again with there because the, and like that, because the lectern and the prizes have been done. So we want some continuity. So we now just want to edit heads uh, th three, which will use the wash, uh, wash beam and We'll just reposition these down the center. Uh, next, and we'll, again, we'll use the wash and position down a bit. And the next one, the wash with, there we go. And we'll go back again, like I said, and put, no. Yeah, we'll go for Come on. Yep, yeah, number four. This one on the stairs, as an example. Number five, where are we? There. Just as a rough example, again, select all. We're recording the prizes position. And we're recording prizes here. OK. So now, if we go back through our entire show, everything should now line up. So we've got the walk-in, we've got the opening comments, we've got the debates, back to comments, debate and presentation, prizes, the photos, and the walkout. And it was as simple as that. That's me lined up an entire show. And the main point about that is in, in the time I've been speaking, I've d updated the show. This list could be 20, 30 queues long for an entire day of a, a pre-programmed conference. And that quickly, the show's ready to go. Now, the only other thing we'd have to do uh, on site is, like I say, is the focus, which is why I always record this. And I always call it the same in all my shows. And it's nothing other than uh, a palette with, if we select, we've got it selected here, and we've got up here at the top, and press view palette, there is nothing but focus in there. Now, if we go back to previous palettes, if I go through all these things, there's everything, this, here is what you can see. So imagine uh, this is where you can, um, like I say, see what's going on. Um, and obviously you can look through the, the bits and so on. Okay, this is where you can edit things manually, um, but you can also remove things. So if you imagine here, we don't want any Gobo 2 information, we can highlight it and remove it. So like I say, in none of these palettes is the focus uh, information recorded and it's only here. So you can record into the first step here of your show, the focus. So as you start, it sets the focus and then it never changes again because the distances in that location are, are always the same. So you're going through the entire show knowing that everything is ready to use. And again, so your your focus at each each venue you go to and gobos and so on are done once for the entire show. All right, next little um, example I'm going to go through is let's say we've got this, which is uh, Heads number one and six are static, and four through five are doing a little tilt effects. That's for whatever reason what the client wanted in the first show. Well, they've decided now they want all six heads to be moving the tilt effects. How do we do that? Well, do we delete it and start again? No, it's, more, it's far more simple than that. Now here we're actually we are actually editing the the queue but we're using the FX palette because if we start again with a new FX, so I'll show you. So we've got that running. So we'll take group one, add an FX. Uh, no, sorry, add FX, position, tilt sign, and we'll put them on. You see all the values are different and speeds are, are not the same and size. So we're not gonna get exactly the same cube, but we, and we want that same uh, FX as we've used. So let's include it. And what we're gonna do is Go back here, 
and this is where the FX palette is. Now if you see, I've reselected it and all the, the heads are now moving. But if you see heads one and two are actually doing the same thing. Now we need to reorder the, 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 the FX to, to fix this. It's very simple to do, but it's a little bit a little bit convoluted in how to get there. So we've selected the palette, so we do add FX and then close window. And now we're back in the head edit, head edit window. Now up here at the top, reorder FX, just reselect normal. And now you'll see it's doing the way we want to do. That's, that's exactly what we want to do. And, I, and from there, we now update. So what we've updated there isn't actually the FX of the, the FX palette. What we've updated is the queue but we've updated the queue's use of the FX palette. Well, I uh, hope that helps. Um, like I say, the main thing to take away from here is that you want everything you do in your show to, uh, to come from palettes. You want everything to originate from a palette. You don't want to be um, just recording things direct into any any um, uh, submasters and queues. The reason being, let's say we've done that and you think that's the only time you're gonna use that FX. And then the director or the client comes along and says, oh, you see that thing you did there? Can you do that again? But can you do it in a different color and against that wall over the side there? And you think, oh, how do I get that back out again? And it's, and it's a lot of faff, including things and going into programmers and deleting parts that you don't want and adding things you do. No, if you've got it from the FX, so let's say he, he says, yeah, I want that FX, but I want it when you're doing the prizes uh, and so on and so forth. So, but where, you know, so it's on the prize position in there and add in the FX. Well, I've taken all those components and that's it. I've just added that on. You know, the, like, I, like I said at the start, think of it as ingredients of a, an all-you-can-eat buffet. So the clients decided they want to change the final dish using different ingredients. Well, you've got them all ready to go. Um, and you can, like I say, you can react to clients changing ideas and surprises in the middle of the night and, and so on and so forth by being a, it being as simple as just selecting the palettes you've already created. And obviously this can be done for anything. So um, let's say client's corporate colour is that blue. But let's say for whatever reason um, you arrive at the next venue and it's a slightly different tone or whatever you can just edit that start uh, changing the color record that cyan again so record onto it and now your your colors are is still recorded it's not you know all of these reds for example that maybe this red isn't the exact red you want you can edit it to be the color you want and then update the entire and that's it the entire show's done like that um like i say spend as much time as you can on palettes, and then the rest during the show will be will be done. And like I say, it's exactly the same as if you're changing venue, uh, or if you're pre-programming on any visualizer and then going on site. So all of these things, you know, your cues are all ready to go. You just have to update those little things on site. And the main aim of the day is always the same: get to the bar at the end of the day as quick as possible. Anyway, hope that helped.